Welcome back, guys, to another Robot Ratings. This is episode 4, and let's get straight into it. Alright, Fire, Brog, I don't know how to pronounce that. But they're Flywheel Bots. Um, this looks pretty heavy. Okay, tank placement. Um, I haven't seen a lot of teams actually do this. A beam on both sides of their Flywheel to make sure that it goes straight. I think this is really useful for teams that don't have a really well-tuned Flywheel. You could definitely try this. Uh, pretty good indexer. Your rubber band wall could definitely be improved. Just copy curls. Pretty good aligners, I see. Um, yeah, this intake is pretty good as well. I don't think you need this many shaft collars. Uh, and also definitely don't use a long axle because you want to use those one by beams. And you could definitely change these rubber bands to silicone or even better, number 180. Um, there's a lot of unnecessary beams here. Uh, you could definitely get rid of these triangle pieces. Yeah, pretty solid bot. I'm gonna give this an A tier. First prototype. Any recommendations? All right. I'm gonna instantly guess that this is China loading. And yeah, all right. Okay. First thing that I see is that your rollers are actually lower than the X weight, and that will cause damage to your sprockets. It'll cause damage to your axles, and it'll cause damage to your rubber bands. So I would not recommend doing that. But this is a really good idea, and we covered it in our first match analysis and our second match analysis. Uh, okay, pl tank placement, but still, this is a pretty heavy bot. You could definitely improve some of this. They don't really need these ramps at the top. They don't really serve a purpose. I see your sprockets are wobbling a lot. You could definitely fix your rubber band tension there. All right, I'm going to give this an A tier. Magic Kid US. This looks like Magic Kid Frisco. Yeah. They use three rollers, four to one. Uh, really good bot. I mean, as you can see, again, they don't have the funnels down there. I've been saying this a lot, right? You don't really need the funnels down there. But one issue is that your ball might still be off center when it comes to the top. And that's why they have these aligners at the top. It doesn't waste any time. It's really good. Again, triangle aligners. Pretty good. This bumper's here. Good. Yeah. I'm giving this an S tier. Sota with intake wall. Um, do not connect your intake wall as a rigid wall. Definitely change it to some kind of wall like Magic Kid or Carl's. I guess this is okay if you're just a beginner at bendable walls, but definitely yeah, change it. And this is a lot of our bands. You don't need this much. This will get an A tier. All right. This looks like China loading. Again, same bot. I recommend all of you guys to build this, even though it seems kind of unfair, right? But yeah, I'm mostly sure that this method will not be banned. So S tier for me. Right, this bot instantly looks very, very bulky. I mean, you do not need this many beams. And I mean, you should definitely add more beams at the bottom to just support your intake more instead of these random beams. And you don't need these unless they're acting as a ramp, I guess. Change your rubber bands, please. But I think this bot has a lot of potential. A tier. Another back roller bot. Don't canter your gear, especially this much space between the beam and the sprocket. Definitely do not canter it. Uh, you should definitely add some another beam here to hold it. Um, these aligners don't look that good. I mean, you should just use 45 degree angle beams. Again, you don't need those triangular um, aligners in the front. And I don't know what this is. Looks like a movable roller. You don't need that. You can just make it rigid. I'm going to give this a B tier. Zekrom here with, looks like a double catabot. This is really bad brain placement. I think you could definitely improve this. Making it upright or just putting it inside. Um, I don't think you should canty these gears again. And I wouldn't recommend using a tensioner. Fix your spacing, please. But yeah, these, you know, the spacing is fine. Let's fix your spacing on the outside with our spacing guide. This is a D tier. All right, Sota with a render. Okay, this looks pretty good. He finally added the redirect mechanism. Looks the same to me for now. I already rated this. This rubber band wall is not really good, as I said earlier. So I'm going to give this a D tier. Jazz PTO. Definitely an S tier. We saw this in the first robot ratings episode. Slide PTO here, and then we got ratchet gear here. This is the spool, and then this th these axles connect to the back roller and intake. Two motor, really, really good. 
I don't think this is his, but all right, this looks like the Stem Star Conveyor Kata. Um, and it looks like a different type of China loading. So basically how it works is you have the wall rider here and you just go forward and when you're loading the ball, it kind of hits this uh, beam and then it just goes to this side. And this looks like it in use. So I'm going to give this an A tier because it definitely isn't as fast as the actual China loading mechanism. But yeah. All right, Carl with Paradigm reskin of Jazz's bot. Uh, this looks like a one-to-one -one hole count to me. I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, this looks really, really light. Um, I wouldn't recommend using standouts to this. As you can see, it's actually kind of bending already. Definitely just use a one by beam. I mean, it's not really that heavy compared to standoffs. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Cut your axles. Yeah, intake looks pretty good. Replace your vans with 180, please. I'm going to give this an A tier. And this is the intake in action. Looks like pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, I can hear the friction. It can definitely be improved. Aligners um looks pretty small and I don't think this type of aligner is really that good. Having an aligner that uses rubber bands to move is definitely gonna be a lot more consistent than these rigid aligners and this angle also doesn't look that big. So yeah, you can definitely improve that. I'm gonna give this a B tier. Inside for two motor drivetrain version meant to be extremely simple. This looks like just a hero bot uh winch. Back roller catapult. All right, this type of rubber band wall is extremely, extremely good, especially uh when you're trying to intake those balls really quickly. So I think a lot of you guys should try to build this kind of rubber band wall again. Magic in uh, a tier, and that's gonna be all for today. Thank you.